Good morning. It's Monday and uh, I took a break yesterday, which is great. And I figured, you know what? Let's just start the comparison video and let's do it by uh, doing a little bit of a silent city, a silent comparison video across the city of Paris between the Xiaomi Mi 10, the iPhone 11 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Those are the phones that I'm out on a run with today. Running with three phones at the same time is, is a blast. It's, it's definitely the most fun I've ever had. I want to run these cameras through a variety of small tests just to see how they hold up as workhorses. That's been the whole point of this whole month of just flipping between the phones and seeing like which ones can do what and how do they do. Not only having the multiple lenses, but can I switch between them while out and about, which like with the Xiaomi Mi 10, I cannot, which is a colossal failure on that part because I mean, honestly, uh, now that I know that's a feature that exists, I have to have it in a phone. I, I absolutely have to have it. So, you know, that's, that doesn't build well for this phone. So anyways, today's gonna be one of those days where I just kind of show you a delightfully silent version of Paris where you get to see people riding by on bikes in the background, maybe hear a little bit of the noise of the streets, the cafes, who knows what. And underneath all of that, I'm gonna be running three different phones. Like right now I'm on the Samsung. I'll try to mark them down below so you can see the differences for yourself if you care. I'll make sure that it's a very small watermark in the lower left hand corner. And otherwise, I'm gonna leave it up to you to enjoy the city of Paris. And then I've got another uh, comparison video idea in mind that might be, take me a few more days to do uh, than to just do it in a daily format. And since I'm already coming up to my break, I think I'm gonna kind of intersperse that uh, over the course of a few days with just a couple of regular vlogs. And then I'm gonna end up taking a break because I really need a break. One of the things I've been struggling to articulate because I wasn't really fully sure what was going on with myself, uh, and we can talk about this more later because I know you're here today to see Paris, but I kind of, I'm toying with burnout again. And it's not necessarily a work-related burnout so much as it is also pandemic fatigue, which I'm sure many of you, if not all of you are feeling to some degree or another. And I hadn't really named it until recently in talking with my dad. And uh, so yesterday I took a day off just because I knew I needed it. I'm really glad I did. And I'm uh, gonna approach this next break a little bit differently than I have in the past as well. Um, and we'll talk about that more as the week goes on, but I hope you're feeling okay. Cause I know that for me, like I'm just, absolutely struggling uh, to maintain the attitude and the momentum and the motivation that I want to. And I don't think that that's particularly abnormal. I think it actually makes a lot of sense right now, but it's frustrating. Like I wanna, I wanna be able to perform, to show up, to do my job. And uh, I wanna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep doing that. And part of that is taking time and resting which I obviously don't do if I work literally every day and make a video every day. So we'll figure it out as we go. But I hope that this video today is a little bit of a relaxation for you. I know that making these has been kind of a respite for me. It's really nice to go out and just take the time to reflect and to stand, you know, and just look at the city while I'm filming it. And so I hope you get a sense of that today. I hope you enjoy uh, seeing a little bit of Paris and I hope that uh, it can bring you a sense of uh, restoration and respite as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a hope that I have uh, for the videos that I make in general, but these ones in particular I think are a little bit extra meditative. So we'll save the broader comparisons and the more active like talking about the features and the differences and why I think I might decide what I might decide on which phone. As we go, as you can tell, the Mi 10 is probably not gonna happen, but uh, between the iPhone and the Samsung, it's still kind of hot in the running. So we'll see how this week goes and make some decisions. But in the meantime, hope you enjoy a little bit more of this silent city. And uh, I gotta finish my run because gotta meet Kate and get some work done this afternoon. So here we go. But the running app is running on my Samsung. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that.
Well, I hope that was as relaxing for you as it was for me. Well, at least I hope it was relaxing. I spent a lot of that running. Man, I picked a bad time as far as the wind is concerned. Testing these things. I guess we're doing a little bit of a microphone test here as well. Thanks as well to today's patron producer, Jacqueline Ann. Thank you, Jacqueline. Appreciate that you're here. Thanks to all my patrons for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever it is you are and that uh, this audio is salvageable. And uh, yeah, I'll see you bright and early again tomorrow morning. I think I'm gonna put together a little bit of a final comparison video here in the next couple of days because I've got to make my decision before I bounce out of Paris for a couple of days. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow morning. And also, sorry for all the scooter noise. I'm sure there was plenty. I can't stop them from existing, unfortunately. If I could, I probably would. If I were king, they would be, they would be banished. Trust me. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow.